All right, so you could see this giant box now, just for reference, that's where I found the scrapbook and this is the giant box. And this is why I say you just have to take the time and dig through these things, because what am I gonna do? Am I gonna walk around and purchase this entire gigantic box? Absolutely not. I mean, it's gotta weigh like, uh, probably like 50 pounds. But as I start digging through this, look what we've got here. Hey everyone, it is time to head out to another estate sale. This one's about a half an hour away. Let's go out and find those treasures. All right, here we are. Just turned off of the main road and looks like our estate sale is right over here to the left we see someone walking up to the area right now so looks like down here there might be some spots let's try that and oh my goodness look at this it is packed it's hoping there might be some spots but i don't know i might have to pull out and get on that main road let's check it out down here i was looking on a map ahead of time and it looked like there was a cul-de-sac down here so it is pretty jammed up our house i think is right here on the on the corner to the right so let's see if we get a closer view yeah there it is right there that's our house with the garage door opening I actually did get a good spot in a cul-de-sac. Let me show you. <laughs> Not bad, right? There's a house right there. So this is great for, you know, if I need to transport stuff and make a couple of trips to the car. You want to be close if you can. All right, here we go. There's a lot of people lined up already. Uh, let me get my name on the list. All right, well, I'm number 31 on the list, so that shouldn't take too long to get in there. So now we just wait. Opening time is in about 10 minutes. And while I'm waiting, I'm just gonna take a couple of leisurely strolls around the cul-de-sac because I've been waiting five years to say the word cul-de-sac in one of my videos. So now I could check that off the list. <laughs> so just FYI, this is a townhouse situation. So that side is not the one we're gonna be on. We'll be on that side of the townhouse. All right, we're getting ready to walk on in here, and I've got Nanette and Dave to my side, so uh, they might occasionally be caught on camera. Hello there. Yeah, yeah. Let's head on in. All right, headed in. All right, well, got a little pantry here. Uh, I think I'll probably swing back here later. Well, this looks pretty interesting up here. So I like old advertising stuff, and this is neat. And this is my height advantage, that so I could find stuff like this. So dusting yes. paper, one of the key VP paper maids. And it's full too, so cool. People will like this just for the advertising. All right, let's put it in the box. First double tap of the day. All right, gonna head down to the basement. Not sure what's down here. And we've got an unfinished basement and it looks like there's a bunch of stuff piled up here. Wow. Okay, so let's take a look around. All right, these are pretty beat up though. Not seeing anything in here. And I'll take a look over on this side. All right, so it's a bunch of like kids art projects in here. So we're gonna pass on this. As you can see, it's not something that's gonna have resale value, but you gotta be careful what you pick up because <laughs> you get in trouble if you list this on eBay. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh. All right, I like cheetah print, but 
We gotta keep you there. <laughs> All right, let's look through here. Maybe we can find something more appropriate. Um, this will fit the bill. <laughs> I love paper items, so. That's an old birthday card. I'd rather be lonely than happy with someone else. Uh, someone will buy this just for the front though, just for the art, so don't worry about that it's written inside. So, <laughs> coming home with me. Alright, so this is just perfect for me because as you know I love digging through boxes of old paper items. And one thing that I'd love to grab are these old brochures. Um, there's people who love this type of stuff. This is a nice travel brochure. Uh, from 1968 to DC, nice and colorful. And there's all sorts of hidden goodies in here uh, as well. Looks like there's some uh, postcards. So there's some business cards, so that's nice. Uh, you could sell these singly or you could lot them together. It just depends on what it is, but I'm gonna pick up these old ads as well. And um, you get them on the cheap, so. Oh, that's another advantage, so don't pass up on the old brochures. You can see this one's in black and white. I prefer the color ones, but definitely, definitely cool. We'll just grab this stack. Um, let's see what else is there. We've got another one here. Oh, this is um, also something to look for because you can see this is an inn. So anything that has something about old hotels, which shows how they used to look back in the day. Anything that has something about old restaurants, definitely pick them up. People are nostalgic for that, for that type of stuff. So I'm gonna keep digging through. Um, I'll just add this, that's a nice colorful card right there at the front. Let's see what else we can find. That is where the adult videos were located and another draw, there is all sorts of um, explicit adult magazines. So we're gonna pass on those as well. So when I see things like these old envelopes, I love opening them up and looking through them and seeing if there's anything valuable we could pick out of them. So besides additional hotel brochures, one of the things to look for would be anything that opens up to an old map, as you can see here. People like to display these. They'll even put them in big giant frames. So we've got a few here that are Canadian and I'm just gonna grab these and we can make a nice bundle out of those. Now, here we go again. In addition to opening up envelopes, these types of books and stuff, definitely open them up because there's some nice things you might wanna pick out of there. So I don't want this entire book, but some of the things inside can be really nice and could sell well. Like this has some nice glitter to it. It's really nice and old fashioned. So we're gonna definitely grab this and put her in the box. And um, that's what you do. Just, you know, just look through these things, see if there's anything interesting that you like and just uh, grab it, put it in the box. All right, now here is another example of something to look for. You see the clue here to the value is the Coca-Cola symbol on the outside of the envelope. So you definitely wanna peek inside and see if there's anything in there. And we do have a letter. So I'm gonna pull this letter out and we will see what it says. Come on out of there. All right, here we go, check it out. And believe it or not, something like this has collectible value to it. Look at that. Associated Coca-Cola bottling plants. This is dated 1959. Dear Miss Lee, this will acknowledge receipt of five cents, which we have credited to your past due account. So it's just kind of neat to see a letter from Coca-Cola like that. People love stuff like this. So they'll put it in a frame and we'll pick this up as well. So I just keep digging and finding interesting stuff. Uh, like you could see here, this interesting wanted greeting card. Uh, anything weird or unusual, 
you know, look into, people have an interest in it. And even though it has some writing in it, the cool thing about it, it has no signature. So someone could just buy this and put a signature on it. Perfect. All right, check it out. This is why it pays to dig through boxes, especially going to the bottom. I already looked through the stuff up top, but I wanted to show you something else to look for, which are these old uh, patches. Look at this. I mean, that is just beautiful. Nice and vintage, and there's nice money and old, hard to find patches. So I love the uh, symbolism on it. It's great. And we're gonna add this into the treasure box. Okay, now for those of you who are always saying, prime time, you take too long going through these boxes. The reality is it doesn't take too long to go through these boxes. I like to be in the moment. I don't care what might be somewhere else when I know I already have treasures in front of me right now. So I really try to focus on being in the here and now. Uh, for those of you who say, well, just grab the entire box and then just look through it later. Easier said than done because first of all, I'd have to carry all this weight around with me. I don't want to create a hoarding situation at Primetime Treasure Headquarters, and I don't want any of this stuff. So out of this entire box, which I'd have to pay up more for, by the way, if I bought this whole thing, I only want a select amount of it, which is that right there. So I have just extracted all of the value and just left this stuff behind. So now we will look for other treasures. All right, so in the last video, I got a lot of comments from people when I was in the attic saying, why didn't you pick up the linens? Why didn't you grab the linens? And what you couldn't tell in that video, because uh, you can't smell, is how those linens smelled. And there was no way I was gonna be able to get that stuff out of there. Uh, so here, we don't have that problem. And so I'm going to grab a few of these, much to some of your uh, delight. So um, <laughs> we've got this one here. This, this looks nice. It has the flowers on it, so we'll pick this up. Um, let's see here. This one looks a little plain to me, so I think I'm gonna leave that there. This one has a nice um, pink and red and purple color design on it, so I like that. Kind of looks a little floral. So we'll grab this one as well. And then here's this one here. I like the greens and the blues on it. That's nice. This one here, again, looks a little plain to me. So, oh my gosh, should I take it? Should I not? Let me know what you would have done with this one. Take it or not. It looks a little faded. Ah, uh, oh my gosh, what should I do on this one? Hmm. My instinct says leave it. And now some of you are yelling at me and saying, take it. All right, tell you what, I'll grab it. I'll grab it. There we go. Eh, you know what? Blue's my favorite color. I'll take this also. <laughs> All right, that's where we just were. That bag is really beat up, lots of rips and holes in it. Uh, but I did see this one laying up top, and people like this uh, kind of country look uh, to these cloth items, uh, especially something with strawberries. So we'll toss that in there also. And the other ones in here are just stained up and plain white, so I'm gonna leave those behind. All right, I'm gonna give a shout out to my friend Pat, who is here, and he uh, saw this and he knew I was gonna snag it up, so he got it for me anyway. So always looking for the mad magazines and the mad books. So I'll just add this to my collection. I've put a little lot together and sell them off once I accumulate enough of them. So thanks, Pat. Special double tap for you. All right, so this is interesting and weird. <laughs> what the heck? I swear, I can't escape this kind of stuff. It's just every video, no matter where I go, what the heck? <laughs> I don't want to touch that. Oh my God, I, I got to get this though. This is just crazy. <laughs> They're flying. Oh, oh, I'd have to use the PT stun gun if she gets any closer. <laughs> All right, so let's put the lid on here. <laughs> this into the pot. All right, so this does look like an interesting piece. 
However, you gotta be careful, pay attention to details. As you can see, there's uh, pieces off of the top that are missing. And so for 50 bucks, I mean, my goodness, uh, we're gonna have to leave that behind. All right, so swinging around the corner here, there's this shelf with this little box. And there's a few nice little cards, anything with cats on them, especially old pictures of cats or animals are definitely good to pick up. Um, a lot of nice ones here. There's some Valentine's uh, related ones also uh, that I saw. So I'm just gonna snag some of these up. Some old postcards, but the letters and stuff. Uh, here's the Valentine. Uh, I'm gonna leave the letters, the personal letters behind, but uh, just snagged all the cards out of there. And uh, just add them right to the box. Okay, so below from there, I came across this, which if you played with these back in the day, you know what they are. These are light bright pegs. So uh, give me a comment if you used to have uh, light bright and play with these pegs. So uh, people are looking for these in lots so that they could play with their vintage light bright that they have, or maybe even a modern version. But uh, these are cool. So. Uh, you could sell these in little lots or wait to accumulate them in bigger lots. It has the lid, so that helps. So, country cock, <laughs> country crock <laughs> coming through. I know. <laughs> I got to be careful. Oh my gosh, I get in trouble over here. We'll put this in here. <laughs> We've got the estate sale dealer saying stuff to me. All right, here we go. Oh my god. All right, and looking behind, we actually have a 1967 Hasbro Lightbright. So the question is whether it works. Now, we're in the basement, but there are light sources here. So I'm trying to find a place to plug this in and test it. All right, so I did find an outlet. It's behind a furnace, let me show you. All right, so it's behind here. I'm gonna just go around this corner and well, you can see there's the outlet. So sometimes you have to really look to find them. Uh, I put a little heart design together here. So let's see what happens. Plug it in and voila, look at that. That's a pretty bad heart. That's why I've never gotten into art, but wow, look at that. It works after all these years. I'm gonna pick this up. All right, so came back to the shelf area and doing some more digging. And I really like this because old military paper items like this New York Military Academy commencement issue from 1945. This is a nice collectible item. So, um, and you know, there's nice pictures in here. So there's lots of things to uh, put in an eBay listing, so we're definitely going to grab this. Here is some of what it looks like inside. It's just really cool to see the old military outfits. And oh, look at this. Oh, this is nice. Look, oh my gosh. That is really cool. That is neat. People are going to love this. Nice old images. You've got a nice poster so. here. Oh my God. That is really nice. Old sporting pictures, pinstripes. <laughs> Terrific piece. All right, let's add it in. Now, by the way, while I'm at it actually, so you could see New York Military Academy, um, why don't I just grab this as well, even though there's a little bit of wear on the outside. I mean, I don't think it matters that much for this because it's 1945 and this is all about that New York Military Academy. And this is basically like a yearbook and, you know, there's going to be someone who had relatives from here who's going to have an interest in this. So this would be nice to either combine with this here, or could even separate them, but wow, I really like this. What I always say is make sure you go all the way to the end. Don't stop the exploration, you know, here in the beginning, because 
Uh, as you see over here, right on top, look at this, this nice scrapbook and it's filled with all sorts of old cards and just really neat items like old telegraphs, Western Union, there's all sorts of cool things that you could pull out, old cards. I mean, it's just, it's just really neat postcards. There's so many things in here. So these types of scrapbooks, I, I love. You could just sell it as the scrapbook, by the way. Um, so um, let's see what else do we have in here. Oh my gosh, look at this. Now this is something you wanna keep off of eBay uh, because it is um, offensive material. You will get reported, so it's not, uh, it's not worth trying to list uh, the black Americana stuff. Just keep it out of there. But um, yeah, this is filled with really nice items. So we're going to uh, grab this entire, entire scrapbook. And just add it to the pile. All right, so you could see this giant box now, just for reference, that's where I found the scrapbook and this is the giant box. And this is why I say you just have to take the time and dig through these things. Cause what am I gonna do? Am I gonna walk around and purchase this entire gigantic box? Absolutely not. I mean, it's gotta weigh like, uh, probably like 50 pounds. But as I start digging through this, look what we've got here. Hey, prime time. <laughs> hey, prime time. Why don't you look behind? There's more of us. <laughs> oh my gosh, look at this Ooh, one. We got, we, got, <laughs> we got another one. Oh, look here, it's Mrs. Primetime. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> just kidding. Sure. Oh my gosh, yeah, this is amazing. There's a whole bunch of them in here. Oh my gosh. <laughs> oh my gosh. Oh boy. <laughs> All right, that one had to turn over because I'll uh, get in trouble, but. Uh, Oh, we got another one here. This is a bondage one. So people like things like that. You just put that in the title. All right, so they're going home with me right in there. Extra double tap. And uh, by the way, that's why, see, because this is like hold it over, big, heavy. A lot of people just don't want to pull this kind of stuff out, but it just really pays to do so. And you know, as you can see here, I'm just sitting on the pallet. Just, you know, find a spot to relax and take your time. Don't feel pressured and rushed to run like the road runner from this room to the other room. That's how you miss things. So don't forget to look over things because sometimes there's boxes back there to explore. This is a good example. These are old music books. Um, sometimes, you know, I'll buy big lots of sheet music, but there's only a couple pieces here. So I dug through it already. This is the one that I'm really interested in, happened to be on the bottom. I like the art on it, and it is over 100 years old. Uh, this one dates back to uh, 1922. So I also like that it's together, the spine is strong. So this is a nice piece, we're gonna grab this one. Uh, saw this one as well, but it's not in as good condition. Let's see how how old this one is. This one dates back to 1942, so not quite as old. So I'll leave this one uh, behind. I'll tell Nanette about this box. She might be interested in some of this stuff, but I'm gonna just grab this one. Hey, uh, Dave. Yeah. Uh, I don't know if Nanette saw it, but there is a box right here with sheet music and there's like, did you see it? Yeah, so there might be some stuff there. I only pulled one thing out of there, but you might want some of it. So if you're interested, check it out. All right. Thanks. Yeah, help each other out. Hey, what are you looking at there? Ah, it looks like some sheet music. Oh, all right. There you go. Our buddy nice. Oliver. Nice. All right, let's head back up the stairs. Poor old vacuum cleaner still sitting here. So this is one of the rooms right off the basement. I saw this in the photos yesterday. Uh, they have some nice uh, old primitives and uh, nice art like this, this nice mask. Uh, the problem is it's a hundred bucks. So i uh, got to pass on it, but I thought it's definitely really cool. Yeah, prep time, really cool. All right, so inside here we have a geisha and there's actually 
a few more of them uh, as well. So let me flip this one over and I can show you. See, we got that one. There's two, and then there's another one under here. Um, there you go. So they're nice, they're pretty and all. Um, but she does want $20 for all of them. And you know, some of them have like coloring on them and stuff. And I I'm just not sold on it. So you can see 20 bucks for the set. So I'm just gonna leave them here. Now this angel is nice. It's cast iron, really heavy. I always look for angel stuff. I mean, here, look, look at this. I mean, that's how loud it is, 100 bucks. 100 bucks for it. And no, that's not gonna break it. <laughs> I can hear it now. Um, this is why I like to dig through stuff and go down to basement because a lot of times in these upstairs rooms, this is where they have the priciest stuff. And so, you know, I like to get this stuff for much more of a discount than items like this. not seeing too much in the kitchen area so you can see here there's a lot of expensive items in here too I um, mean look at this 50 bucks 100 bucks I mean my goodness they on the stuff that's discounted is very generic not stuff that I'm uh, interested in although I did like this right here I and mean, I know I have a lot of cat fans so you'll crack up at this dogs have owners cats have staff so it's a nice hanging tile so I'll pick this up and again, just to show you, very generic type of stuff. I mean, this doesn't even have anything on it. And, uh, you know, just company mugs, nothing anyone's gonna write home about. You know, this picture here, it's ceramic, and you know, even though it's chipped and broken, it still has a $12 price tag on it. So, you know, not gonna happen. All right, so this is the downstairs area. There's all sorts of interesting art in here that I cannot pick up for eBay. You might have picked up on some of it in the periphery. This is pretty neat. 10 bucks, big and breakable though. But uh, yeah, I'll take a look around. Let's see if there's anything here I wanna grab. So this to me looks like a handmade hand puppet. Kind of reminds me of Fraggle Rock, if you remember that from back in the day, but I'm uh, gonna pass on it. It's got a $5 price tag on it. Um, you know, being handmade and doesn't really even look that vintage to me. I don't think there's gonna be an interest. Um, in here, there's some cars for you know, 10 bucks for the lot. They're modern cars made in China. So I'm gonna pass on those as well. You know, this wooden cow is interesting, but you know, you could see here that there are these screws and you know, it's like a peg-like function where ears likely would have hung off. So if we check underneath, it says that it was made in Canada, but given that it seems incomplete, I'm gonna leave this behind. It's also pretty big and bulky, so we're gonna move on. Wow, some of the prices up here are hard to fathom. I mean, 50 bucks for this small box of Legos with a ripped up modern box. I mean, there's just no way. I mean, you've seen me at garage sales just pick up massive, massive bundles of, of Lego for, you know, much, much better prices than that. So, man, I'm gonna leave that there. Look at this, $50 for a Nickelodeon comforter? Uh, pass. I'm doing a little cover up on this one. You might have seen it when I walked in the room, but look at the price, $50 for that. And then this one doesn't have a price, but I have no clue what that is. And this one here, also 50 bucks. I mean, just way too much. All right, so I think this is the person who priced all the items in here, right here. You see her? Oh. Yeah, I think she priced everything. So mm -hmm. we're going to head upstairs right now and get out of this room. <laughs> Okay. 
Oh, finally the music went off, so I can actually talk. So sometimes I have to play some music over the radio that's here. I'll get a violation on YouTube. Um, now here, hard covers for a dollar, soft cover four for one. So I'm going to check these out here and see if there's anything that I'm interested in. Uh, stay away from Nazi stuff on eBay. Could cause a problem, so... I just avoid it. Casey Kasem just started talking so I could uh, mention a couple things about these. These are nice because they're basically advertising pieces by companies such as liquor companies. Um, some candy companies made these as well and they will um, sell well. They're vintage plus I can make multiple listings. All right, so that's where we were. The only thing left is this bathroom, which I just checked out. There's nothing in there. Uh, and then this area over here, which is mostly a bunch of old shoes and stuff. So I think that's it. Time to check out. All right, and just FYI, there is a garage and there's also a room off the garage, but it's been pretty ravaged through and I don't really see anything of any value here, so uh, we're going to check out now. Wow, what a wild assortment of stuff at that sale. There's so many things to look back at and laugh at. This is going to be a memorable one for sure. I can see lots of jokes in the comment section. But uh, once she saw that I had picked out the scrapbook from downstairs and said that's gonna be 20 bucks i knew that the price might be a little high for stuff so she looked over everything that i had in the box and she said 70 dollars for everything and as you know from watching my videos that's pretty high compared to what i normally pay so i tried to get her down to 50 but she said she would meet me at 60 and you know what I did. I know I'm gonna get in some trouble for this. I know I'm gonna get in some trouble from the ladies, but I had to cut out those fabrics. I had to I had to let them go. So I said, well, what if I take out the fabrics? I know there's some, you go, no, <laughs> but I just had to. So um, she said, all right, I'll do it for 50, um, you know, taking out the, uh, the fabric. And so, you know, with the pictures of the ladies and the scrapbook and all the other items, uh, that I have. I should get the 50 bucks just back with this actually, but um, you know, uh, that's where I wanted to be. I didn't want to go over that for, for what I had. So um, fun time, fun time. I will make an effort though to pick up more fabrics and more linens and uh, try to make sure I get the terminology right so I don't get any more trouble. So um, uh, it was nice to see Nanette and big shout out to Pat uh, helping out today, get me that mad book and Dave as well. Uh, so it's great to see everybody. So, uh, just a reminder, everybody have fun when you go to these sales, 
help each other out. If you see something that you know someone else likes that you're not you know, necessarily interested in or as interested in, you know, bring it over to the person and say, hey, hey, I found something for you. So, you know, it's fun that way. Um, you know, have a good time. Don't sit there and stress out and worry about that. You have to literally find every single treasure that's in the place. Just have fun, enjoy the moment and go out, find those treasures. Till next time, everyone. Take care. Post credit scene. Here's the receipt. Hey, Daisy, it's time to say goodbye to all your fans and friends. <laughs> oh boy. I know why you look like this. There's only one explanation. You miss Mrs. Primetime. Cause she's out right now and so you sulk while she's away. Don't worry Daisy, Mrs. Primetime will be back soon. If you wanna cheer Daisy up a little bit, just put a comment in there and I'll uh, read it to her. Give her a little extra chin scratch and a belly rub and maybe a little double tap. Thanks everyone, <laughs> see you later.